Today I'm going to show you how to cook rice. A lot of people think that it's quite easy, but a lot of people make mistakes too. So hopefully I can show you a bit of the tricks. different kinds of rice available in the supermarket and then that might confuse you sometimes, it does confuse me. Well, first, this is a short grain, it's the shortest grain that you can find in a supermarket. A lot of Japanese people, Korean people use these ones. Next one is a medium grain, it's quite similar to the short grain though. This one is, is jasmine, it's, it smells so wonderful. It's slightly longer and then thinner than the short and medium grain. And another one that I have is basmati. It's great for Indian cuisine. Okay, how to cook the rice? It's pretty much the same for these kinds of rice. To cook rice, some people might use rice cooker, and which I do often, but for those people who doesn't have a rice cooker, mm, no worries, I will show you how to cook with a simple pot. What you need, a small or medium sized pot with a lid, Whatever the cups that you're gonna use, remember to use to measure water, okay? Because it's a ratio is very important. This one is two cups. And then let's wash the rice. This is very important. Cold water, just rinse with the cold water first. And then drain the water first. You see the milky color water? We don't want any of these. This is starch from the rice, impurity from the rice. You need to remove to cook a beautiful rice, okay? And now what you're gonna do is you need to use the fingers or hand. I use the palm of the hand to just give a bit of the massage. Not too hard though, otherwise you're gonna break all the grain. All you want it to have is a good rhythm. And now rinse with water. See that milky color water? Don't lose any grain. And then again. This was the first thing that I ever learned from my mum when I was a little. Okay, rinse again. Until you get nice clear colour water. You see that? The colour of the water changed. Once you're happy with that colour of the water, then just drain water completely. When you cook rice, you just need water and rice, nothing else, okay? So I use this cup to measure the rice. I need to use the same cup to measure the water. For short and medium grain rice, you just need to keep the ratio as one to one. So two cups of rice, I need two cups of water. So the longer it gets, your water ratio will increase. So say, um, Jasmine, you can go one to 1.5, or Basmati, you can go one to two water ratio. Water's in, lid on. Before you turn on the heat, you just need to soak the rice for half an hour if you can, and that will get the best result of the rice. So half an hour is done, let's cook. I've got an induction cooktop, which is really nice and easy for me to use. Um, what I need to do, turn on the heat, bring the water to a boil, make sure that the lid is on, Bring the water to a boil first, as soon as it's boiled, then reduce the heat to low heat, and then cook for 15 minutes. And this one, I've got the 15 minutes timer, so I can set the timer and I can walk away. A lot of people will just, you know, start open the lid and then steer through something. Just be patient, okay? Leave the pots alone and you can do something else. Okay, wait for 15. Now 15 minutes up, Turn off the heat and remove from that. Resting for five minutes. Please do not open the lid. Just be patient for another five minutes. Five minutes are up. Let's check the rice. Beautiful, nice and shiny. Okay, I've got the rice spatula. Before you touch the rice, you need to wet with water. So it won't stick, just fluff it up. You see that? No sticking at the bottom, no burning. Beautiful. So this is a bowl for rice. There you go. 
It's a fluffy, beautiful, perfectly cooked rice. Now you can do it. <laughs>